All right, Dinwiddie and I are gonna attempt to uh, detect this hill. The reason being is because behind me is a bunch of late 1800s, early 1900s houses. We're hoping the kids played on this. What do you think, man? Hey, let's find some treasure. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is working already. I think I got some silver here. What do we got? Well, it is definitely a silver rosy. Not complaining about silver. Dang, this is already working out. 19... 52, I think. Dang, kid's blind. <laughs> awesome. We've only been here just a few minutes, man. I dug a few pull tabs already in the silver. See? <laughs> It's so steep and wet, and <laughs> Dewey's detecting on his butt over there. <laughs> slick, but sometimes these dumb ideas work out. Well, I got a bunch of clad. <laughs> I saw a needle for doing drugs. <laughs> There's some bum stuff. This is my first relic. Alarm clock. Well, there's an old Montana license plate. Not sure a year. It's pretty rough. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think the kid got silver again. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's a butte. Yeah, baby. Dang. What a beautiful silver ring. Wow. So at the bottom of this hill, it seems like someone used to live here. That's crazy. And you know what they did? They dropped a beautiful sterling ring. Look at that. Boom. Oh, dude. It's like somebody on a camel or something and palm trees. And... I don't know. We're going to have to get a... I'm gonna have to clean that up some. Yeah, I'll have to get you guys a close up with a camera because that, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but yeah, that's. Wow, what a weird button. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Good job, buttons. Matty. I love buttons. <laughs> that's cool. So I got a lid here to like a makeup case or something, like a little compact so muddy i don't think i'm gonna be able to clean it up and show you guys if there's a pattern on it but if it's something cool i'll take a little clip of it later look at that i got me an old hoe dang that's cool oh yeah now we're talking look at that thing <laughs> oh tell me that's not an old gun what the heck that's yeah, obviously a toy, but how old do you guys think that one is? I mean, this thing's <laughs> doesn't seem to even have a trigger on it. Dude, that's sweet. Well, Denway's got himself a dog tag here. We're hoping to get a date off of it. <clears throat> but it's something like, there in the middle, but it's looking pretty toasty from what I saw. Yeah, it's going to need some cleaning before we can actually get anything off of it, I think. We'll have to buy the apple cider vinegar or something. Isn't that crazy, though, that we just are like, oh, let's do this mountainside. We get to the bottom, and there's a homestead down here that we had no <laughs> idea was here. That's so cool. <laughs> Somehow I just pulled some more jewelry. I can't believe it. Holy cow. Some sort of cross. Damn. I don't know if that's going to be silver. Probably not. It's so muddy. Let me see if I can clean this sucker up. Make something of it. So I think it's bling. But man, it's really ornate. I'm thinking pretty old. I'll try to get some close-ups with my camera. Because it's pretty cool. 
man, what a fun little spot. Oh, and then we just got a drawer pull. You know, it's kind of a plain Jane. Not, not nearly as exciting as that. <laughs> Dude, Dinwiddie, Dinwiddie's got a bell. Broke on the back. And whatever was in it is rusted. Sounded great. That's weird. Yeah. There might be some details around it I can't tell. It almost looked like there was something there, but I don't know. Maybe not. Hey, we're still pulling relics. I think that's a lipstick case. So now that's something I haven't seen or dug. It seems to be like an old pencil sharpener. Well, that was interesting. I guess that just shows you, you just gotta try some stuff because you never know. I mean, who knew that down in there was gonna be an old homestead? I was just banking on some kids playing on this hill, dropping some old Indian head pennies or something. Here's another find at Dinwiddie's, U.S. Marine Corps knife. That was a weird spot. All right, we switched to another spot. We're gonna walk over there, see what we can get. So we're doing another hill, kind of similar to what we were doing. There's an old neighborhood up here and uh, actually pulled a Morgan Silver Dollar and stuff off this hill before. Well, there's my first good one. Looks like an in 1930 weedy. So I just got some sort of crayon jewelry. I'm not sure how it works, but pendant or bracelet? I don't know. Weird. Bonus fine. <laughs> I was digging up this little 22 shell and they got me a marble. <laughs> Not bad. Look at that. That syringe is a uh, high tone. Dang. Look at that. I got a harmonica reed. Now that is a cool relic. It's like a, I don't know, a frog? Dang, let me clean that up. That's crazy. I don't know what this is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I don't know what it is. It might be like a drawer pull is what we're thinking. Or maybe a knob off something. It does kind of have like a, like a little slot there. Like it's a stopper of some kind. Man, I don't know. It's neat though. I don't know what to make of that. It's fancy. Has a patent number on it. Some sort of a fastener. I guess. Interesting. Yeah, I admire you guys. <laughs> yeah, why is that? Well, that's cool. Oh, yeah, it's fun for sure. Hobby. Or job or whatever. What'd you find? I got a little pen. You want to see it? Yeah. Not sure what it means. Look at it. Energetic 500 Club. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> <Some of them. laughs> yeah. You guys have a good day. Good luck to you. Thanks, man. Yeah, so I just found some sort of little pin. It says Energetic 500 Club. Awesome. For a second there, I started thinking, man, is this thing gold? And then I saw a little mark. <laughs> It says GF, so I think it's gold filled. So I did a little research on this pin, and it turns out that the Enna Jetic was a women's shoe company. And I think that this was probably for selling your first 500 pairs of shoes. And it is gold filled. So a little, little better than plated. Anyway, this is pretty interesting. I guess they used to go around in these great big, they look like campers. And they'd sell the shoes like right out of the, it was like a camper car weird thing that they made. And they would sell the shoes right out of there in like the 20s. <laughs> well, that was a lot of hillside hunting. I'm whipped. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you on the next one.